Murals of East Belfast One of the most notable features of Belfast is the sheer number of murals which are painted on walls and gable ends across the city. Many of these bear witness to the recent conflict, but in the past few years, there has been a real effort to commemorate more of our cultural icons through this distinctive form of street art. Inner East Belfast especially is covered in murals. There are still many based on the conflict, and the most famous of these is the Ulster's Freedom Corner mural at the junction of Templemore Avenue and the Newton Ards Road. Echoing the famous Free Derry mural in Derry's bog side, although from a very different political perspective, Ulster's Freedom Corner is a mural which runs across the gable ends of several houses and features the loyalist paramilitary groups the Ulster Defence Association and the Ulster Freedom Fighters. While the mural refers to our often troubled past, like other political murals, it continues to be a major draw for many tourists. Elsewhere in East Belfast, however, many of the contentious murals are being replaced. Some of the new murals focus on aspects of our political and military history, like the Battle of the Somme in 1916, but many others depict sporting and cultural figures. George Best, for instance, is featured on two main murals in the area, one overlooking the football pitches where he played as a boy in the Craig Estate, and another close to the city centre at the bottom end of the Woodstock Road, which depicts the bearded best in full flow, embarking on another mesmeric dribble. Commemorating the late founder of Northern Ireland's PUP party, who played an important role in the peace process, the David Irvine mural and memory chair art piece, designed by leading sculptor Ross Wilson, are located on Montrose Street, just off the Albert Bridge Road. On Carnforth Street you'll see a mural dedicated to David Healy's legendary goal, which ensured one of Northern Ireland's greatest footballing triumphs, the defeat of England in a World Cup qualifying game in 2005. But perhaps most significant of all is the replacing of a former Ulster Defence Association mural in Tully Carnet with one honouring Catholic war hero James McGuinness, who received the Victoria Cross for his bravery in the Second World War. Another mural in the Craigie Estate from the First World War commemorates Private William McFadzian of the 14th Battalion Royal Irish Rifles, born at nearby Rubicon, whose astonishing heroism at the Battle of the Somme earned him a posthumous Victoria Cross. On the morning of July 1st, 1916, at the Assembly Trenches in Thiepville Wood, McFadzian threw himself over two Mills bombs just as they exploded, sacrificing his own life to save the lives of dozens of his comrades. The other portraits on the mural are of Lieutenant Geoffrey St George Cather, Private Robert Quigg, and Captain Eric Norman Franklin Bell. Elsewhere, on Convention Court, just between the Ballymacarrat and Newton Arge Roads, you'll find a mural dedicated to the famous local writer C.S. Lewis, creator of the Narnia Chronicles, which depicts scenes from his most famous book, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Close by in D Street is a mural of another cultural icon intimately associated with the area. The RMS Titanic is depicted in all her glory but the mural also contains scenes from the Titanic's short life and is dedicated to those who lost their lives on the liner, built just over the road in the Harland and Wolfe shipyards. More murals depicting the life, history and culture of East Belfast are springing up all the time, so keep an eye out for new paint on the walls.